The fusiform excision is marked with a length of one and a half to three times the width. The intervening skin and soft tissue is then excised. The incision made in the skin edge should be perpendicular to that skin edge. The fusiform to be excised can then be removed with sharp dissection using either knife or scissor. The skin to be excised can be held with a forceps or a skin hook. The middle finger can also be used to aid in the retraction of the soft tissue during the dissection. In order to allow the tissues to come together during the closure, undermining is necessary. When scissor dissection is used, the tips of the scissors are best kept tip upwards towards the skin edge so that the deep structures are not inadvertently cut. A number 15 blade can also be used to continue the undermining. This demonstrates that either a scissor or a number 15 blade can be used to undermine the soft tissues which will allow closure without tension. The first suture that is placed is a deep suture and it is buried. It is placed in the dermis at approximately the mid portion of the incision according to the principles of halving. A surgeon's knot is used to close the deep tissues thereby approximating the wound edges. Notice how the wound edges come together. The deep suture is cut on the knot and the wound edges are now well approximated. A second deep suture is placed according to the principles of halving midway between the first central suture and the end of the long axis of the wound. Again, an instrument tie is used to fashion the square knot. Four throws are used to be sure that the knot is secure. Skin sutures are then placed according to the principles of halving. The first or central suture is placed midway between the long axis of the wound. Note that the edges of the wound are both approximated and everted. The skin suture is cut with a tail. The remainder of the skin sutures are also placed according to the principles of having.